I'm making some butterfly cards today. Want to see? Come on in. Hello everybody. This is Julia Laird with Senior Susie Stamps. And I wanted to say thank you for coming and spending some time uh, with me today. I finished a video yesterday on how I deal with white paper scraps and I did a baby wipe technique using some Ken Oliver Color Burst. And I thought today we would finish up um, that supply of ink uh, and do some butterfly cards. So let me show you what I've got going here to begin with. These are some that I pulled off the baby wipes yesterday and they've been drying overnight up underneath these uh, weights so that they're as flat as I can get them. Now this is what the ones that I and I just did a direct dip on those. On these two I used my small brayer and just brayered some ink onto them. Uh, let me show you right quick how I did that because this baby wipe tray is ready to go in the trash and then be washed off because you see how the ink has all kind of homogenized on it it really it doesn't um, last forever and it still it looks like it still has some good color in it and I may actually make a few more pulls off of this after we finish up today just because I'm I hate wasting ink but um, so I'll set that aside now a warning if you're doing this kind of technique just know that you're going to probably get some ink on your hands I want you to know that <laughs> good gracious I hate to show my hands sometimes hey so I've been making some butterfly cards and these are the ones that I made uh, just to show you some examples. Now, this is, of course, one of these. And then I did uh, the little um, stamp directly onto the baby wipe for this butterfly. And I used this set here called God's Beauty. It's an older Stampin' Up! set. Um, but I do still see it occasionally on eBay, so it's available. Here's another one. Now, this was a die cut. And I just dipped it right down in there. But these are nice. They're uh, clean and simple cards. They're easy to put together. There's some um, cheesecloth up underneath that. And I used some of my little stamens for the antenna on that one. This one uh, is the original brayer piece. And you can see the difference now in the color. And see how it's starting to fade out. Um, on that so you can only use that baby wipe tray for so long now I left this loose so the edge would kind of curl so the foam is kind of in the middle of this piece because I want that extra texture uh, to show up on this this is a the butterfly I stamped on a separate piece and then glued down directly to that piece of paper and I put a little gray edge around the outside and there's Wink of Stella on that that I know doesn't show up very well on the camera. So let's get started with these today. I wanted to use a stamp set that I got from paperwishes.com several years ago. It is still available uh, as of today. I checked this morning. It's Easy Watercolor Butterflies. I'm going to use my Misty today. And we're going to go ahead and get started on these. I chose some ink colors um, from my stash that I thought maybe would be pretty with these. Regal Rose, Summer Sun, Marina Mist, Mint Macaron, and Lemon Lime Twist. So we'll just see um, which ones we like with it. I think I'm going to do a direct stamp onto this for the first one and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to use a memento black. See how that does. And I believe what I'll do is I'll use memento black on this layer. I'm going to leave that stamp on the misty. And then on the final um, layer, I'm going to go back and put some 
um, VersaFi and Onyx Black right down in there on top of that. So what we'll need to do is to move this to the other end of the MISTI so that I can have a working uh, spot to use these stamps and that one will just stay there for right now. Okay, the way this stamp set works is there's several different layers. Let me show you on the back here. There's a little guide. See this one has the little green dot, green dot, green dot, green dot, and so forth. So, let's do this little layer next. And it just gives a really pretty little uh, watercolor impression. And I think I'm going to start um, with some lemon lime twist on this one just to see how it does. I better get my black ink covered up because I'm kind of klutz with ink. <laughs> oh, gosh, I hate to tell you the number of times I got ink on myself. Okay, now we'll see. Okay, so there's the first layer. That's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Let me get a baby wipe out because I'm not going to re-ink that for sure. And let's see which one we're going to do next. I believe I'm going to just do this one. Right here. This is a really nice stamp set. They also have a um, watercolor flower stamp set, but I just I really, really like these butterflies. I'm going to use uh, Marina Mist on this one and try to pull some of this blue into the butterfly. Let's see how that works. It's just a little darker green, but I think that's going to be really pretty in there. Definitely gives the butterfly a lot of color. These are going to be really clean and simple cards. Now I'm going to put this back on the other side of the misty and go back one more time with my onyx black. And that will really pop that black up on this. There. Drama. <laughs> I'm go ahead and clean this one because I won't need it again on either one of these. So this card is ready to put together. I believe I'm going to use a Tim Holtz sentiment on this one um, because there's some really nice ones uh, in our, my stash. Let me get a card base. Now these are A2 size cards. Okay. I got this sentiment out uh, from Tim Holtz and it's go where your heart takes you. I think it needs a little black background to go on here. Let's see. And I'm thinking just a little small edge, not much. And I'm going to trim that off with some scissors. Okay. Now I'm wondering about putting a black layer up underneath this and I think I will. I, yeah, I think that's going to be just what this one needs. Now I think I used my ATG glue, my ATG gun and glue this down on top of that black and then trim it close to the edge. I don't want the black to be a quarter inch difference. It really needs to be more like a eighth difference. So we're going to be going really close to the edge. There. This is going to be landscape top folding. Oh, doesn't that just set that off nicely? Now when I did these uh, sheets here, let me show you right quick. I went back and just drug the edges. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I drug the edges back through that color. And on this one, it really shows up here along the edge. It gives it just another 
a little bit of dimension. And I think I'm going to put this one up on some foam tape, which I have right here, because I think it needs to have <clears throat> a little architecture back behind the card itself. This card has a lot of color and drama to it, and I think it just deserves a little extra foam tape. And I'm going to pull this foam right close up to the edge so that it doesn't bow up. I don't want it to bow. That other one I do want to bow. It's just kind of part of the look um, of the card. I think on this next card, I'm going to double layer some of these um, panels and see how that looks. And maybe do a butterfly on white paper and then fussy cut it. So that's next on the list. Give me just a second to get this one finished. I think this is going to be a really nice little set of cards just for a gift. And we're done. It's just a real simple little card. I think I will put some of those clear dots from the ton on there. Let me glue this one down. Because I don't want to add any more color to this um, card. I want just the... Oops. I want it to be just as it is. Let me see... I had to keep these over in my Gray Mercy cart in these old um, Stampin' Up cases by color. It makes it really easy to find things. And I think we just put three of them down, you know, in your typical three fashion. Maybe put one on the head of the butterfly. Let's see if that, how that works. Maybe it kind of magnifies it just a little bit, I think, and gives him a head. <laughs> there. All right. There's the first card done that'll go with these other three. We'll look at them again in the end. Now, on this next one, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little bit of the green color burst that um, is just in specks on there, and I think it was probably on my mat yesterday. But I was thinking that if we did something like this and then did a white butterfly on top, that that might actually be really uh, pretty. And I have some of those um, Big Z butterflies in my stash uh, that I cut that are just pure white. And let's just look at it and see what the pure white looks like um, built up on this card. Now again, these are um, quarter inch layer size, so they should work just fine on top of the A2 size card. But let's just look and see. Make sure I got things cut right. They did. Now, uh, somewhere over here in my little die cuts, I think I have another butterfly, and I do. Now that's a that one's a little big, I think. Let's see if I got a smaller one. Yeah. What I did with the other card that I used this butterfly, I just took it this one. I took it and hand dipped it into the color. Let's see. I've got a there's a body for these that comes with that die. And maybe if we put just a little color on that, I want to see because um, I think I'll put just a really light gray edge around just to give it a little dimension. 
and pull it up off that paper a little bit. Not much. This is not like the black because it's it would give it a lot of color. I just want to give it just a little little tiny bit so it really just looks like a little shadow. Yep. Okay, I want to glue these down. And I am going to add just a little bit of glue. I remembered to do it this time, didn't I? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I had a nickel for every time I said I was going to do something on video and then didn't do it. <laughs> oh, well. That's just the way the brain works around here these days. Now, I'm rubbing from the back just so that I don't mess up the front. And that flattens it out nicely. Now, I think we may can do a little tiny bit of color on this one. And I think I'll just start with a little bit of gray on the edge and see if that just doesn't give it enough depth. Because I really want this butterfly to be white and I'm going to put some Wink of Stella on the top of it. Oh, that might just work. It might. Let me see. And I'm going to bend the wings just a little bit. Not a whole lot. Because I kind of want it to stay in place there. Let me put the Wink of Stella on first. Just in case that I have uh, any accidents with it. I've done that before. There now. There is no other dimension on this card, so I'm wondering if I should put that butterfly up on just a little bit. I think I will. Now all we need is a sentiment on this one. I kind of like this one. Be you bravely. But I think I'm going to mount this one up on white. Just kind of in a little reverse of the other one. Okay, I'm going to glue this one directly down onto the card. Since the butterfly has some dimension on it. There we go. Now let me get some of those stamens. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I don't remember where I got these. Um, they're available on the internet. Lots of different places. And I think they're available on Amazon as well as eBay and those kind of places. What I'm going to do with them, they'll have to be shortened up just a little bit. I want to check the color. No, I think it needs to be a little more colorful. Let's try this one. Oh, I kind of like that one. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do, put some glue, a drop of glue down. And um, dip these in glue. And then slide them up underneath the butterfly. This is Art Glitter Glue, and it should hold good and tight, but you can probably see there's a good drop of glue um, back down on that now. And I don't glue them all the way to end, just that first quarter inch or so. And then you do have to kind of hold them for just a second to get good contact with the paper below, and then the Art Glitter Glue will go ahead and 
kick its uh, kick in. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like that card in that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the um, Wink of Stella really shines on this one quite a bit. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That's five cards made out of that um, leftover stuff. Let's see what else we got over here. There's two little pieces here. Let me pull a card blank and see. Because I think I might save one of these and do a silhouette. Um, I think I'll do that. I think I'll save this one and do a silhouette. Well, wait a minute. Do another one like I did before. I'm going to trim this down to a smaller size. Let's see how big this piece is. It's four. So I'm going to do three and a quarter. Let's see, I think I'll do three and a half by two and a quarter. That is two and a quarter, so. That's too big. Let's take it down another quarter of an inch. So two by three and a quarter. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay. I'm going to glue these down. Then I'm going to stamp and fussy cut a watercolored butterfly to go on this card. We we'll use that same stamp set again. I put my corrugated on with glue so that I've got good coverage because there's not a whole lot of contact on these. this one out and see. I think that size is going to be really good. Okay, bring my Misty back in because we're going to need it. And I'm going to need a piece of uh, scratch white paper. I um, <laughs> video yesterday on using white paper scraps and I've about run myself short. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It is. Yes, it is. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing we did before. And that is memento black. And leave it in the same spot. And then come back with the onyx. And that just gives us the placement for where we need to put these other little stamps. Now, I think the... Um, I think this lemon line twist was a little dark. I'm not going to use it on this card. I want something lighter um, to so that it, it doesn't um, overwhelm the card. And I'm thinking maybe the blue, a little bit of the pink, and possibly some of that mint macaroon. Let's just see. What kind of a combination we come up with now. Start with the pink, I think. Pink, I think. <laughs> and I think I'm going to do all three layers on this one. Now, where's my pink ink? There we go. This is Regal Rose. It's an older color. And it may be too red. I might want to... Let me check that right quick. Oh yeah, that's definitely too red. So we'll be wiping that dude off. And let me go get a different color of ink. I'll be right back.
This is pink pirouette. Let's try it. That regal rose is just way too dark. Now that's going to be a little prettier, I think. I'm going to hit it again. Clean this one and get it out of the way. Now there's another smaller one that kind of goes in the body here. Let's use it. And I think we'll do the green on it. Mint macaroon. Let's see how that turns out. That may make it a little dark. Oh, it may be pretty on there. And then I think we'll do that third layer in the blue. And that'll really darken down the center of that butterfly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. I believe I'm going to hit that blue one more time. There. And we'll come back to this other corner again for the onyx black. There. Now with our misty I'll clean these stamps later I'm gonna fussy cut this one and be right back there now oh isn't that gonna be pretty all right let's see I want to put a little gauze up underneath this uh, let's see cheesecloth when you buy cheesecloth, you want to get the kind that's kind of a loose weave. And um, this I got from Amazon, I believe. It's Dritz, uh, number 599. It'll take you forever to use it. Or at least it does me. <laughs> I shouldn't say everybody is the same as I am. But it does take me forever to use cheesecloth. And then I kind of just kind of pull it a little bit to get the, the fibers kind of spread out a little bit. I want to have to turn my hot glue gun on. Let me see if I can find a sentiment while that's heating up. How about great things take time? And I think I'm going to mount this one up on white and see how it looks because I don't think we want black under it. We may put a little black border under it. But I'm thinking this double layer white on white might be just about perfect for this. And put some dimension on it. Because I'm not going to add dimension to the butterfly. And let's see where we're going to put this. I'm thinking right about there. Right, let's see if this is warm. And, oh, there it is. Right, put a little glue down here. Doesn't need much. But you need to have enough that you can get your butterfly down there. And the glue will hold everything else in place. There we go. Take this. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of glue here because it does have to go through the cheesecloth to get to the paper. There. I think that's a pretty card. I do think, though, just a couple of those clear drops might be nice on that. Perhaps. Let's see. 
some of the small ones. See my hot glue gun making a mess over there. I better get it unplugged, hadn't I? <laughs> Perhaps right here on the head. There we go. This one's all done. And I think this is the one I'm going to save and do a little silhouette card. And I don't want to do butterflies on it. I think I'm going to do a flower or something. I'm not sure. I'll put this one back in my stash. So that's all the butterfly cards for today. Give me a sec. And let's take a peek at them. And... Uh, I think I have pretty much used up most of that ink out of my tray, but I do believe I might make a couple more pulls off of this today and see. Aren't these pretty? I just think they turned out really nicely, and I think they'll make a really nice little um, gift box set of six now. So fun. <laughs> this is Julia. I hope you have a great week and you'll come back soon and see me again. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.